Hey everybody, Candy here from Scatters Homestead. Welcome to our channel. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure to click that button and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay in touch with us. Also, uh, make sure to like the video if you like what's happening. I'd love to hear what you do like and we'll make sure that you get more of it. So today is actually our last planting day for in the house. Um, I need to plant the cabbage, the zucchini. I'm going to start a bunch of herbs in the house um, that I can just directly sow them into, um, into the garden as plants. Um, and then I want to do some uh, cauliflower as well. And then I'm thinking about planting some more cabbage and some broccoli. Um, just to get some in the later season. I'm just gonna test it out, see if it, if it works. If it doesn't work, you know, then I've learned something. So um, again, what I've done, and I've talked about this in the past of how do I keep myself organized. Um, I go ahead and I've actually written out um, the seeds, all the seeds that I want to plant. And I've kind of just written a few little instructions on there. Um, things like when they need to be planted and then how to harvest them. Do I need to do anything special with certain plants like broccoli? You want to soak the seeds the night before, before you plant them into the soil. Um, just little things like that. And, um, and then I go ahead and I pull out my calendar. And so uh, throughout the calendar, it's just, I'm just going ahead and I'm just putting in um, the things that I've planted so far so that I can simply count things off. So on the 6th of April, I went ahead and I planted um, the tomatoes and tomatoes are looking great. They're behind me here. They're looking super. Um, I actually brought all the plants out yesterday. Um, we finally had warm weather. Uh, it was 22 degrees here, sunny. And in uh, on the front of our house, it's actually, it's way warmer. It was probably 30 degrees. I had the plants out there. I'm starting to harden them off and just um, give them a little bit of fresh air, give them some wind. Um, so now we're into May. So a lot of these plants I could have actually planted, um, I could have planted them at the end of April. I could have done like mid to end of April. Um, and it's just so happened that we've been busy with all different things. I haven't been doing well some days, but you know, that's a common story. Basically, if you want to know, if you want to know my health situation, if I'm having a bad day, it's a bad day. I'm flat out in bed or couch, need help walking, things like that. Um, and I'm just going to add a little video here just so you get the idea because um, I do talk often about me not feeling well, um, me having a bad day and I'm not pulling out the video camera very often when I'm having a bad day. Um, very typically, I can't, I can't, I can't talk. Um, I have a really hard time forming words and, uh, and then I don't have the strength in my arms. So that's just a mitochondria issue that I have. Um, just a second. I need to go let Finny in. So what I was saying was with my mitochondria issue, once I have lost energy, my body just completely attacks itself and I'll have issues with breathing, forming words, I can't keep my eyes open, I can't walk, I can't uh, use my hands, all that kind of stuff. So I need a lot of help during those times. So I've had a couple of days like that. Those days I'm typically not videotaping anything. Um, but you saw the video, you saw how much help I needed. That's just life. And, um, and the really nice thing is, is that when you have a, a disease like that, <laughs> it's, um, it gives you a lot of time to think and it gives you a lot of time to just stop and, and, uh, think about the tasks that you want to get done and also dream about, man, if I would have my strength back, I would do dot, dot, dot. So when I do have my strength back, uh, Sheldon can't keep up with me. I am a go-getter and I am working my tail off um, because I love, I love to work physically. 
Um, and I end up having really long days um, and I have to just keep making sure that I, I keep going and kind of pacing myself throughout the day because as soon as I slow down, I lose all my energy and um, it's just weird. It's like, I just gotta keep going. Don't let my body relax. Otherwise, and I'm probably having a seizure or something like that. But I had two really terrible days this week and I was flat out and I've had yesterday. I didn't really take you along with me yesterday. Um, we were uh, we were actually working on clearing the garden plot. You have seen a little bit of that already with Sheldon working with the tractor. Um, isn't that such a blessing? Just here you go, here's the tractor. Why don't you go do all your work? Um, so we're super blessed with that. Um, and um, and so yesterday I was I was helping with that. I was doing some cleaning up on the yard. I was doing last minute measuring so that I could just get all the garden plots kind of prepared and kind of plan accordingly on what are we planting. So um, that's great. Today I have to do this sewing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew some plants and something super exciting. Um, I, have, I have a Ziploc bag here. It says plant early May. Okay, so. I have not planted flowers before or seeded out flowers and it's it's super um, <laughs> it's it's actually overwhelming it's like zinnias um, it's like do this and then do that and then at this point do this and this one's hard and this one needs this kind of temperature and this one needs this kind of moisture I'm like oh yeah 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 but you know I'm gonna try why not so I have a couple different uh, flowers that I actually get to start today. So I have a bunch of zinnias. Um, I, I got the polo bear, which is a big white elegant um, zinnia. And then I have the Californian mix. So that is just like a mix of all different types of colors. And then I have um, the envy, which is like a lime green. So I'm looking forward to seeing those grow. I am hoping they're gonna grow because I would just absolutely love to have just a garden all colorful, full of flowers, cut flowers, bring them into the house and just have that beautiful um, scent and just the, the view of them. So anyways, um, then we are gonna get the, um, this is called an Art Aster Charlotte. Um, it's a decorative flower, but I would almost compare it to a zinnia. I'm gonna put a picture up just so that you can see what it looks like. It looks a lot like zinnia, but it is um, it is uh, um, pink. Um, and then I have St. John's wort, so that's part of my herbs. And then I have the straw flower, and it's just a mix, so there'll be yellow and pink and white, different kinds of... Um, straw flowers in there. So that is exciting. I get to actually plant flowers today again. Um, but let's hurry take a look at my plants. I'll let you see the good, the bad, and the ugly um, on kind of what my starts have been doing over the last while. And then we're gonna go ahead and start planting. Here I have some beautiful arugula. It is doing great. It needs to be harvested and eaten. Got some lettuce, but my lettuce is kind of in retirement, and so I'm going to be removing that uh, today. And I have planted new lettuce, but it is not coming up yet. The moisture, the temperature, everything is good. It's just not coming up. Um, and then we have the arugula, and so now look at this. So the arugula went outside with the tray yesterday, and I don't think it should have because. You can see it's, it's stunted some of them and you can even see some of them um, have just dried up and withered away. But if I touch the soil, the soil is really nice and, and moist. So I don't know what I did wrong there other than I just definitely shouldn't have taken them outside. Um, so this right here, I did plant some herbs already. Um, I would like to make some baskets. I'm just thinking that would just be really cool. So I have thyme, I have rosemary, and I have oregano, so all three of those are coming up. Um, and then I have basil here in the front. And so far, there is no birthday for them yet. 
Then we can go on to the broccoli. So this is both uh, just the normal broccoli and the baby broccoli. So this I planted earlier because I was told that you can plant like an earlier crop. It is good. It got pretty lanky at the beginning and so it's um, it does look pretty terrible but I have I have learned that they will still make beautiful plants so it's not a fail on that side um, and then let's go up here so these tomatoes we planted them about a month ago all doing really really well they're actually getting pretty lanky so these are going to be transplanted I'm gonna give them each their own container um, because we have another month <laughs> you can see how they're all leaning this way that's because that's the direction they were at yesterday I just flipped them around but you can just tell that um, yeah they they could use their own their own little um, uh, pot so we're gonna do that um, then I have some late bloomers here so it is very interesting how this is whoa that is all coming out so my San Marzan, so these are my San Marzan tomatoes and I have quite a few of them because I wanted to, uh, well, I always, I always grow a lot of San Marzan because that's what I use the most of. I use it as, I use it as um, a tomato sauce. Like it, it's a good tomato paste tomato, but I don't make paste. I actually will go ahead and I will put, um, I just, cook up all the tomatoes with the with the peel and everything I throw it into a blender and I, I can them up like that and that makes all my sauces for the year um, and so San Marzans are really important to me and they just are not looking good at all um, but yes those are there then we can go on to this so we have a little bit more transplanting to do. So my celery, my celery is just not doing well, but I should have transplanted them a little bit earlier. And then these are actually some of my flowers. So I have um, this right here. This is the hyssop. Um, well, these two right here. Then I have tarragon, Stay, still waiting for some tarragon coming out there. But these right here, these are poppies. Um, and then the the second tray um, right here this is poppies as well so I don't know what happened there why they didn't want to come out and this one as well so I don't know sometimes I wonder if I like actually forgot <laughs> I forgot to plant them but I am wondering if I just planted them um, deeper by accident and so that's why they're not coming out but yes yeah, so there's a couple of those and then let's look so right here you see the nearly empty tray those are jalapenos they have not done well um, also I have the green peppers these are all green peppers this is actually my second planting of green peppers because my first planting did not go well um, so we'll see what happens with those and then we have these peppers here these peppers are doing well we have they've already been transplanted into their own little pot so we have the red peppers um, we have the violet sparkles and then we have lots of violet sparkles they are just happy and then in the back here I have more red peppers so you can see the one tray the peppers are coming out already we're waiting on those other ones these I'm just gonna throw away um, there's nothing coming up those were the green peppers that um, just nothing nothing happened there we do have a few jalapenos here I have like three plants of jalapenos oh let's make that a few more they're just getting squashed sorry buddy oops crazy broccoli got in the way you should stay on your side yikes okay I need to adjust that so how to jalapenos we have a couple here which is good then we have the candy cane peppers and I already noticed um, you can see that right there so it's already getting its variegated leaf and I think that's so cool unfortunately there aren't many of them uh, so we'll see what happens two of them look like they're struggling a little 
Um, some of them didn't come up at all, but I did plant them more just for um, just the, the fact that they're really awesome. And I harvested the seeds from some of the peppers that came out last year. So, you know, it is, it is what it is. I have yet to um, have great success with onions, but you know, I'm, I'm always going to go ahead then and, and just buy bulbs if that's what I gotta do. Uh, so these peppers here that you're seeing, I just have to check. Oh, no. So this is the ancho poblanos. There aren't a lot of them, but the, that will be great for grilling during the summer. These are tangled up too. There we go. Um, so we have five of those plants. I don't know, you know, we have some late bloomers. I wonder, no. I wonder if um, it's just gonna take some time and then they, the, the rest of them are gonna come up. Again, maybe it was that they were planted too deep. I don't know for sure. Then um, here are a few more red peppers. So glad to have a couple more pe peppers. I just, I haven't really counted how many I actually have. And then um, these over here, this would be um, Brussels sprouts and broccoli. So again, these were planted pretty early. You can see they were stretching for some kind of, um, some kind of light because it was still shorter days. I did have light on them, artificial light on them, but um, they'll do well. We'll plant them out. I am planning to go ahead and plant more um, now so that again, I think I mentioned that already, that I wanna plant more broccoli and cabbage so that I can go ahead and um, get a little bit of a later season as well, not just midsummer, but, or like August, I will be able to actually get some later on. So that's what I have planted right now. They're doing all right. I wish I could see a little bit more success in it, but um, I don't need a doubt that this is gonna feed me and Sheldon. <laughs> it's a lot. I just like to have extra and then use my imagination on how I can um, use it in different ways. So we're gonna do some transplanting today. I'm gonna transplant um, the tomatoes. I'm gonna transplant the, um, the yes, what am I transplanting? Celery. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start planting um, all these seeds that are here. What I do is I just go ahead and I create a tag with um, the seeds. Um, so then I have a tag for every single one of the packages. And then I can just go ahead and start planting. All the seeds have been planted. I have ran out of tags and so I just took the top tabs off and for all of my um, herbs but I have the flowers planted and then I have some cabbage cauliflower I have all the plants planted I have transplanted all the tomatoes. There's a bunch more. So that was a couple hours worth of work. Thank you for joining me. Um, you know, I always find this time um, working here, getting my hands dirty um, and just thinking is so important, important um, for your heart and for your soul. And, um, and I was just thinking about, um, so often I talk about limitations and I had heard this saying, and I don't know who exactly said it, but um, very often the saying is, is that your lim limitations often come from your expectations. And um, I was kind of mulling over that now while I was planting um, how your limitations can actually come from your expectations in life or in the situation that you're facing where um, maybe your your expectations are too low 
and maybe they're too high. It's, it's interesting how it can go bad for you for both cases. So it's a pendulum, right? So if you go to that bad spot, um, you know, and you're saying, I'm not good enough, I'm not wealthy enough, I'm not smart enough, um, or I don't have enough time. You have all these ex expectations of yourself that this isn't enough, something isn't enough, and you're going to pause right there, you're gonna stop right there, and that's your limitation. So, um, you know, I just really wanna encourage you, um, you know, every single thing that we do in our lives, it's a means to, and what is that end goal that you have in your life? I really wanna encourage you to think about that. What is this end goal that you have in doing what you're doing? So if you, for me, um, I'm really investing in the community. I'm growing um, a lot of vegetables for the community. I have asked a lot of people to come and get involved in that. Every single one of those pieces always comes with a means, it's a means to an end. And what is the end of that means? Well, I know that I can't do this by myself. I've really learned that during the time that I've been my sickest. I need people where for years and years and years, I would have loved to have just been by myself, sustaining myself, doing everything myself. My mom always jokes about that I was that little stubborn kid. I can do it myself. And I still had that mentality and I've learned a lot that that is not the mentality that you should have. Um, there are people, there's community, and the Lord has actually provided us with a community, and the Lord has provided us to others. We are actually a provision for others. We are maybe a relationship, maybe we are an encouragement, maybe we are a helper. Um, that's what we are. We're, we're here to do life together. Um, so I would just wanna encourage you with that. Obviously, um, <laughs> this is my time to think uh, when I'm planting and doing this kind of quiet work and it can um, <laughs> It can be almost overwhelming just that in itself. Other than that, I, I want to encourage you That you might feel like you have some limitations right now, but you're not You're not completely limited. Um, that is something I always want you to remember um, Your limitations might be coming from really high or really low expectations in your life um, or uh, your limitations might be coming physically and that doesn't mean that you're limited There's something right beside you that you can put your focus into. So thank you so much for joining me I hope you guys have a great day